Okay, guys, today we're going to learn how to print the odd numbers from 0 to 20. It's very similar to the video that we recorded um, for the even numbers from one, from 0 to 20. Now we're going to do it um, printing the odd numbers. So we, as, as usual, we come here and right click and create a new class. And we're going to call this class odd numbers. Okay, odd numbers, we're going to um, like always we do uh, with we've done so far we select the the uh, main method which is the one that is used to run these programs okay we are gonna finish here and then I'm gonna delete this uh, comment now like we did with the even numbers we have to use a for loop to print the numbers from 0 to 20 so we go here we declare um, this variable I, but this time we're going to say X and we're going to uh, initialize it to zero. So we're going to start from zero and we're going to say X less or equals to 20, right? And then we're going to say increment a X by one every time you loop. Okay. So now if we print this, right, we're going to get the same result. So we print X and then we run it here. So we get zero, but I forgot to put here LN. Otherwise we get on the same line. We get in the same line, we get the, the all the numbers one after the other. But if I put here, uh, or maybe I can print it in the same line, but just leave a space, right? Just leave a space here. And then we print this and then we get all the numbers here. Okay, with a space. But what I want is to print one below the other, right? So what I have to do is just put ln here. Instead of print, I just put ln and I just print one below the other. So then we have from zero to 20. But the objective of this particular um, lesson is to give you an idea of how to print the odd numbers from zero to 20. So I'm going to cut this to paste it later okay and I'm gonna use the if statement just exactly as we did with the even numbers and that is to say if X divided by 2 has a remainder of 1 then the number is odd okay so we have here we pasted what we caught before and then remember in the even numbers the remainder was 0 now the remainder is 1 and when the remainder is 1 then the number is odd so I'm gonna print this and then what we get is all the numbers from 1 from 0 to 20 other numbers that are odd in this case we have 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 17 and 19 okay guys so three lines of code a for loop to loop from 1 from 0 to 20 an if statement to have a condition that when you do a modulus, this is a modulus in, in, in Java, it means that when you divide the number by two, these guys will get the remainder. And if the remainder equals one, then the number is odd and it will print it. If it is even, it will not print the number. Okay? Okay, guys, I hope you liked it. And this is the way that you print odd numbers from zero to 20. I hope you liked it. See you in the next video.